What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome to the world of bars and barbells. I'm Phil with my lovely co-host, Samantha, and we're checking out some more Linda Ronstadt today. Yes. We almost left out Tiffany, who is also joining us. You can't see her. She's currently at our feet. (laughs) And uh, she's been enjoying the music, so she keeps coming around. And She heard that we were doing Linda Ronstadt when she heard the first version of Linda Ronstadt from Blue Bayou that we did. She was blown away, and that's why she's hanging out with us again. (laughs) She's ready for the next one. So, uh, in all seriousness, you really enjoyed the first song from from Linda, right? She was great. Yeah, I thought she was awesome. Her vocal was great. Yeah, blew us away with that. And Mm -hmm. you guys jumped in and said, you're no good. That's where you got to go next. Not that we're no good. (laughs) That's the song. That's where we need to go. (laughs) That's the song that we got to do next. So, that's how we've arrived here. We're doing a live version of the Midnight Special because Mm -hmm. it seemingly uh, didn't matter her doing the live version of Blue Bayou in yeah, the last one. Yeah, she is so good live. Her, her vocal performance was fantastic, so we're not too concerned about the, the quality or what it's going to sound like in this one. Obviously, you guys know that we like to do some studio sometime. Yeah. Because, you know, that gives you the best listening experience. Maybe not the best performance-based experience, but, you know, the listening quality can be good in the studio um, and hit and miss on the live performances sometimes. But so far, I'm pretty confident that Linda is going to blow us away with a vocal performance again, yes. no matter where she's performing performing mm-hmm. agreed anyways we got a pop quiz question for him right yeah we want to know so this isn't actually written by linda rod said this is her performing somebody else's song so who wrote the original version of this yeah and uh, so she i guess took that song that was originally wrote by somebody else and then turned it into a billboard number one hit yeah and so i think this is her best performing song that we're about to check it if you're ready i'm ready i'm ready let's roll guys Okay. Okay. so we can get back into that again. Sheesh. That buildup was fire to come back in when that boom. Yeah, the guitar solo vocal. there, the electric guitar solo was sick. Like All of that instrumentation was so cool. Oh, yeah, the rhythm section sounded great, real tight. Uh, got a lot of soul to this one. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, Linda is capturing that oh, Her vocal fantastically. Is just... It's very different than Blue Body. Yes, but the range is still there for sure. The range is there, but like I said, she's coming with a little more soul, like a little bit yeah. of, a, you know, I'm like getting a little more emotional, yeah. uh, but also fun at the same time yeah. with this one. Yeah. And uh, I really, you know, am now understanding how she can basically cross over into anything. Yeah. Because it was... Her vocal's just so powerful. You know, the Blue Bayou was kind of like a 
country feel to it almost. Yeah, I feel like it was a country bluesy kind of feel. Yeah, and this has still got some blues to it, but mm -hmm. it's it's not, you know, anywhere near what we no. listened to from the first so version different. of, of yeah. Linda. And the second version of Linda is fantastic. I love, like yes. you said, the instrumentation, vocal performance is awesome. Um, the background vocals are really good. Yeah, that as well. And this is live. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. You forget almost. Like she's just crisp. Yeah, so good. Delivery. It's awesome. Two for two with live, which is crazy. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we haven't finished it yet, but it's well, fire. Almost. We're fire like 45 so seconds out. <laughs> complaint about that is how short it is i know it was so good i wish they made that longer yeah i they easily could have probably too but i guess it would fabulous. have been a good radio hit though yeah and that's probably why to do was, on like a know, show or something like yeah, this in the top 100 that's probably why it went there because yeah. you could throw it on the radio give you a good vibe a good energy pump up that's what i felt like it'd be hard not to listen to this one in your car and be jamming like i don't give a damn i'm going to work because this is fire <laughs> Nice little pump up sash. Oh yeah, it was great. And uh, sure, her vocals just so strong, right? Like even the they had the bulk of backup vocals mm -hmm. there, which were great. But you know, she was just so overpowering. Like it was like they were there, and then she would come in, and it was just you know yeah. all her at the forefront. Yeah. But uh, I love this second version from Linda. Yeah, I mean, I loved both. They were both awesome. But I think this one is my favorite. Yeah, it's hard for me to even pick one, I think. Just because they're because, so different. Yeah, they're so different. Fair. Um, but I think she has a couple other really popular songs as well. We Not probably a couple. Them. There's probably, you know, Tons. more than a couple that are great from her. But more prominent in terms of her catalog, like this one that went uh, number one on the charts. I think she's cool. got a few more that are very well known. So, so you let guys got to let us know where to go next? Yeah, let us know what those songs might be. Uh, we always appreciate your insights, guys. They're fire. Yeah. They uh, have really taken us on a great journey thus far. So do that on this one as well before you go as well we got to give you that answer to that pop quiz question yes yeah, so the question was who wrote this originally and the answer is cliff ballard jr that's right and um you know clearly she did it justice oh yeah she destroyed it <laughs> that's right <laughs> and uh, so let us know what you guys think about this song if it's your favorite from linda uh if you have any memories related to this song i think yeah. it came out in 1974 if i'm not incorrect i think that. you're right yeah um definitely in the 70s the mid 70s is, yeah. is when it was popping off with linda and uh well they had know, their bell bottoms on so uh that's yeah. definitely the right era also she looked pretty tall yeah I don't know if maybe if it was just the heels that she was wearing maybe. or something. but or The angle um, of the camera. Yeah, she looked like she was a fairly tall woman. So um, let us know about Linda. We like learning yeah. about the artists that we do on the channel. We always appreciate your insights. Like I said, what they got to do before they go, Sam? Make sure that you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And we drop two videos every single day. So yeah. that means we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you then.